This jawline is the final support before the train actually and then we had a continuation to the downside. Oversold also above 90. So now it's giving us a hey everyone, thank you so much for joining in. So looking at the coin Bitcoin price movement, we can clearly see that price actually failed to re-enter this ascending channel. Let me draw here. You can see here that price actually attempted many times to re-enter here and it failed time and again we can see right first rejection second rejection and this was the third attempt and then price started continue to the downside but if you look at here clearly it made double top indicating price will go to the downside and it actually did but if you look at here properly why the price got rejected around this area is because this was our key level we can clearly see this 9300 was our key level because we have been talking about this scenario plenty of time also when we were looking at this through this Wyckoff distribution schematic we said after reaching this last point of supply LPSY area the price got rejected two times and then it started going to the downside and now what we are expecting is maybe price will try to break this trend line this red line because this red line is also going to act as a bearish trend line so that's why I would also keep an eye when the price is around this 9000 level if it's going to break above this 9000 level then we might see price re-entering this phase to try to break this 9300 level again so another example what I've also prepared for you guys this daily 21 moving average is playing an important role because we can clearly see when the price was around this daily 21 moving average this acted as a very very nice support for the price to continue to the upside we can clearly see after price finding support around this 21 daily moving average it started going to the upside and we can see the trend was also very clear to the upside but when it got rejected around this 21 daily moving average because the price was making lower highs and lower low indication the trend might be reversing we can clearly see this daily 21 moving average which was a really strong support is now the strongest resistance what price could have faced after that it got rejected right we tried here again and this 21 daily moving average also didn't let the price cross over it and if you look at in our case right now what we are looking at here is also the price was actually finding a really nice support around this area it indicated the trend is going to continue to the upside and it did actually and if you also see here we found a really nice support and now if you look at here clearly guys it's also making lower highs and lower lows and if you also focus on this area this 21 daily moving average is now acting as a strong resistance around this area just like here you can clearly see after price going below this 21 daily moving average it's now going to find very very strong resistance to pass over it so we will be noticing this kind of movement around this area that price may be trying to come across this trend line area this 9300 again this here is going to be a very very strong resistance of bitcoin just like here and then we had a continuation to the downside so i'm expecting this 21 moving average to act as a very very strong resistance not letting price to, to the upside so do keep an eye on this 21 daily moving average also and this is all in a daily time frame please don't forget that another example what i've prepared for you guys is this one this here is alligator indicator let me show you what it actually does okay so this blue line what you can see here is the jawline of alligator this red line is the teeth of the alligator and the green line is the lip of an alligator so now when you see this kind of price movement this coiling up moving average coiling up around this area that's the sign when the alligator is sleeping but when you see this leap starting to go to the upside and the jawline to the downside this is the indication that the alligator now is waking up and it starts feeding and unless it actually breaks the teeth area of this alligator and the final confirmation is the jawline it's indicating the trend is reversing because when i did the video i will put the link above and i did this video about this alligator indicator price was i guess somewhere around maybe around this area which was 7200 or 7600 i can't remember that properly but we can clearly see the alligator is now starting to feed and now we can see some sort of like change in the direction because if you look at this clearly here guys now we have already broken the teeth of this alligator and now also we are finding strong support around the jawline and this jawline is the final support before the train actually starts going to the downside because now also this moving averages the blue line is a jawline if the jawline is above the teeth and the lip it's a train reversal guys look at this now here you can see the jawline is above and the lip is below and the teeth is in middle you can see price going to the downside isn't it so here same scenario it's coiling up right now 
is showing some sort of like crossing over this teeth and the leap of this alligator which is indicating now maybe the trend is about to reverse because if you look at this movement here guys we can clearly see the leap was above the teeth is in between and the jaw was below right indicating the trend is going to the upside and look it found support around the teeth area and it started continuing to the upside unless it broke the teeth line and also the jaw line was broken then we had the indication the price going to the downside and look the jaw was above and the teeth and then leap in this case when the price was going to the upside the leap was the first one following the teeth and the jaw line but now green line which is our leap and this teeth is about to cross over this jaw line which is indicating if the price getting pump harder we can like come around this 9300 level again but as I said, there is a strong resistance around this particular area. So I'm expecting some sort of like reversal because I'm just not saying it out of thin air, guys. You have to be careful because if you look at this T3 CCI indicator, it's also showing now it's giving us a sell signal. Why? Because it's actually entering the negative territory. This green here, histogram, is a positive territory. If you enter is this below, this red line is a negative territory. And now look, after this teeth line got broken, it's also indicating some sort of like sell signal, isn't it? And look, this histogram crossover around this particle area exactly there is also indicating this crossover. This is a bearish crossover indicating a reversal is about to happen. And if you look at the similar case back here, let's look at this where the price actually started to reverse. We can see the same case. Look, the crossover Look, the crossover price about to enter the negative territory, indicating a sell signal. Same scenario here. Price enter the negative territory, indicating a sell signal. And if you go straight up, you will clearly see that this area here was actually indicating us that, hey, the strength is now fading away. And also the jawline got broken and the trend starts going to downside. And if you look at here clearly, guys, it's showing similar move. Maybe we can get the price push around this 9,350 area. And then what I'm actually expecting, a reversal. Because also this MACD line is showing the similar case. Because this widening moving averages line indicates the trend strength. And you can see the trend strength to the downside is now increasing. And look, same scenario here. When the crossover happened, this MACD crossover, straight upside, see, this was an indication that the trend is going to reverse to the downside. And also entering this negative territory. And look. What happened after that? As I said, guys, if you're finding difficulty to understand this William Mayer indicator, the link might be popping up right now. So now we can see this alligator is also indicating, hey, the trend might be reversing very soon. So we have to be very, very careful and watch this area time and again. So another example, what I've actually prepared for you guys today is this one. So if you look at this in a daily candle, we said when the price was around this area, this William Air person also indicated, hey, we are at the oversold area and the ATR normalized was giving us the same value. If you see this kind of occurrence happening, that's the indication the market has bottomed. And look, here was exactly the area the market had bottomed. And after that, price started going to the upside. Now, if you look at this area here, similar case. Market was oversold around this area, but ATR never gave us the confirmation that it's providing the same value as the William Air person. But if you look at here, this was oversold. And this here is not giving us the same value because we are looking for something above 90 or 95 would be really nice. So look, this at the sideline, you can see the value of it. It's 79. We are not looking for this. If you look at here, this was oversold and this is above 90. But this is not exactly below the same line. That's why we will not consider this. But if we go backwards, we will see this scenario appearing here exactly, guys. Look around this oversold area this is around like now minus 93 94 and if you go below you can clearly see this is also indicating above 93 95 96 area so that's the indication hey here around this particular area the market has bottom and if you can see the rally after that was pretty impressive isn't it also today someone just pointed out in the group that hey anoop if you try this on an hourly time frame it's also actually giving us a really nice signal not only in a daily time frame daily time frame is most of the time for swing traders right but this hourly time frame might be very interesting for those people who are also looking for like short term trading same scenario here oversold it's above 90 right here oversold also above 90 so now it's giving us a buy signal please keep this in mind this is an hourly time frame and then price continue to the upside let's look in the second one here look at this area right this actually indicated hey again we are above 90 oversold and this here is also above 90 
perfectly matching each other so it indicated we can enter the market here after that we had a rally to the upside if we go sideways we can also see here same scenario right price fell massively to the downside it indicating hey we are oversold but this line if you look clearly it's not exactly at the same level so in this case we are escaping so if you look at another case here it's exactly at 91.92 and here, this is also indicating me it's above 100. So this was also a scenario where we could have entered the market. And look, after that, we had a rally to the upside. So guys, try this out, but don't just randomly invest just seeing this kind of confirmation. Try like backtesting it, this kind of strategy, only then play with real money. That's what I actually wanted to share with you in today's video. I hope this video was informative enough. And if you're watching this video for the first time, guys, I would really appreciate if you could smash the like button and also the subscribe button and hit the bell. So until next time, my name is Anup. Bye-bye, guys.